Hey everybody, I'm Steven21967 and we are in the infected. So I'm working on a project based on the comments that we had after the last video about the bait bases and how I said that I didn't think that we should be doing those things. Um, somebody recommended, so I think Gary Cannon said that he had been using bait bases all along and he upgraded his fences to cement and the Vambies weren't able to get through that. Now what I'm assuming he's probably trying to say is that the fences provide uh, a lot of uh, enough time. Like there's, you're going from 100 to 400 and the fences are going to last longer, give us a better chance of getting to the Vambies and killing them before they can destroy all the fences. But then he says it requires materials to um, fix and repair these fences. So I'm totally expecting that to happen. What I want to do is I want to upgrade the fences where I know the Vambies are attacking. At least over on these two sides of my base. And see kind of what kind of repair costs are we looking at. You know, is this is this really a good idea to do something like this? Again, um, some of you do like the idea of swarms, but you're like, it's, it's just so much damage and so much repair cost. Maybe that's just like not enough reason to want to do it. Like for me, I don't want to leave them on. I don't, I don't want to set any kind of uh, a Vambi swarm event just because I know that when it's over, I'm easily going to spend uh, the next, the rest of the next day half at least half of the day i'm going to spend trying to re rebuild my fences and do repairs now cement is time consuming to make but something else to kind of wanted to talk about where are you so okay yeah something else i wanted to talk about was uh, in my last video i recommended people don't don't do the base don't do the bait bases and that's based on the fact that my computer was experiencing serious lag when it happened and i know i had done another video where i had the vampies come over to um come over to my bridge and when the vampies didn't have a clear line of sight to me the game lagged like seriously bad and I'm, you know, that's far enough away that pretty much every Vambi came to the bridge. All right, none of them, none of them came here to this base. They all came to the bridge. So if you build your bait base far enough away from your, your regular base, the Vambies, all the Vambies are going to come. Okay, so you got like 14, 50 Vambies at one time. And imagine what that's going to do to your computer. I don't want to recommend you guys do things that might cause your computer to lag or freeze, force you have to quit the game, force you have to restart your re reboot your computer. You now that's irresponsible of me to make those recommendations. What I should do is just say, hey, I'm going to try something. I don't want to recommend people try this because something happens. Then you know what? It is kind of my fault for. I mean, you, you could have just said, no, I'm not going to do it. But um, I understand how things work sometimes. You know, some people it's like, oh, it's an exciting idea. And they're not really thinking about all the ramifications. And it's part of the reason why I got that, when I decided that was going to be my next video, I was afraid that people would try it and it would crash their computers. And it'd be like, well, that's that's very bad. <laughs> that's, that's incredibly bad. I don't, oops, I don't don't want that to happen I don't want to cause problems especially if it causes really big problems for you I mean, my computer system is pretty good it's an older system it's about two years old I know that's pretty funny it's like two years old you consider that old well yeah kind of sort of is two years is pretty old in computer years I like to replace my computer every three to four years and you know I don't build my own computers so I just go and I find a place that has uh, good prices and good systems and, you know, buy them. You know, I select the options I want and buy it. And that's, you know, that's the way it goes. 
but usually for me my experience is like after the first year I start to kind of experience issues with my computer now let's do this I'm gonna take the rest of this we still have quite a bit of cement to go let's just go back Let's go over here and get as much as we can to get done over here. Now, I believe that the Vambies have been able to destroy my concrete fences. Because I think this was concrete here at one time. And then they destroyed it. They just obliterated it. So the Vambies can do it. The big challenge is the Vambies are going to attack for, at least in my base setup. Maybe it's not the same way for you, but in my base setup they're going to attack um, from these two different angles. They aren't all going to be on one side. If, that would be nice if they were, but that's just not the way it is set up. But it does make sense. I mean, he's the developer has done a good job with how the Vambi swarms happen because I don't get Vambies from all directions. That wouldn't make sense. It wouldn't make sense that a, a swarm would be split up like that. Typically, a swarm means that uh, large grouping of whatever are all coming at the same time in one basic area. So he did a good job there. He did a very, very good job in how he set up these swarms to happen. Yes, they do do a lot of damage. It's, I know, I, I understand some people said, hey, it's not worthwhile to do it right now just because, um, you know, maybe this is too buggy. Maybe the developer needs to scale back the amount of damage. He needs to nerf it a little bit because it's too much. So there's this part about how I want to do uh, a Vambi, you know, Vambi attack tonight. We're going to do this tonight after I finish doing my upgrades. So I think this is pretty good. Typically, they're in this area. So the big challenge with, again, with the, the, the damage that we're going to... Uh, get is we're only gonna the vambies are going to be split up in two groups one group is over here and one group's going to be over there i'm going to have to work very hard to uh deal with them i'm going to have to you know get this group down here and once i got them down i have to get over to there and in that time that base you know that side of the fence is going to take a tremendous amount of damage but I'm interested, again, in seeing what is this experience about. I mean, obviously, uh, a wooden fence with 100 hit points versus a concrete fence with 400 hit points, the concrete fence is going to hold out longer. But the trade-off is now, for the concrete fence, is we have to make more concrete. And concrete is not that easy to get. I mean, I have I have used up most of the clay nodes that are near my base. And even with the extractors, I have nine extractors sitting on the area that's between these two, um, between these two sites. So this is, this is aluminum over here, and then cobalt is way over there on the other side of those extractors. So even with those set up there, there's nine of them. I still don't get a lot of, I don't get a lot of uh, clay from them. So we definitely have to go out into the game and go further and further and further out to find this stuff. So again, as I said, I saved this game. We got, we still have quite a bit of concrete left. So I saved the game already. I saved it after I made all the concrete and before we did all the upgrades. Hey, what's up, buddy? And tonight I'm going to go to sleep right now. And I'm going to get up and be forced awake by the Vambi Swarm. And we're going to go out and we're going to fight them. And see what kind of result we get at the end of the night. I'm assuming that this is going to... That the fences will hold out a lot fat, a lot longer. But again, um, what's the repair cost? You know, what's, what is this going to cost us to do all this? Okay, this bow is actually kind of okay. I have 35 arrows. 35 arrows is not bad. If it comes down to a spear, we're in good shape. Actually, I think I'll just leave that because we're going to look at that tomorrow. All right. Enough talk. It's time to figure this out. See exactly what happens when we do this. What kind of... What kind of... Uh,
defense will an all concrete fence be for us? All right, let's get out there. Let's get our light up. Oops. Personally, before I go on the other side of the fence, I want to wait and have them start going at the fence. I, I'm... <sighs> come on. Come on, honey. Let's bring this. Okay. All right. We're good. We're good. Okay, good, good. Oh crap, I forget about her. That's right, she got over this, didn't she? Okay, we're gonna have to do something here. I <laughs> like that breath. I maybe I have to turn up my sound a little bit. Okay, let's do a few things. I did this a little differently. I decided let's just focus on getting getting the threat down. Let's not worry about looting. We'll loot after we've got them down. All right. So we still got four. So there's four more coming. Uh, I don't know when they'll get here, but they'll get here. It seems they are split up. Right now, for me, my experience suggests that they are definitely splitting themselves up. Some, will, Most of them will come in the very beginning, and then we'll get some at the very end. And I think the only difference between what you saw here and what I've and like the other videos is the other videos I stopped to get my bow or get my arrows back and loot the bambies. That's that's one of the big differences. Well, I think I had 35 or something like that. Okay. Yeah. Don't want that. Yep, the fence is still holding up really well. Uh, we're going to have to do something here. The, the solution here with that Vambi that climbed right over that, you saw that, is uh, we're going to stick this fence and go all the way around now. Okay, we're not going to stop here. So later I will come back and fix that myself. I'll extend it and then I'll show it to you so you can see what I'm doing. So I have something very similar over here. Come on, guys. I got four more. Where are you guys? Yeah, I did the same thing over here. I pushed this fence way out here. All the way. So they can't they can't scale up the rock and get in my base. I have to do it over there now. Shit. You guys. Ah! <laughs> I hate you! 
Bear first, Bambi's next. Oh, look at this. Look at all this damage. Look at all this damage. Oh my god, they came from another... Oh god. Oh god. <laughs> no. Oh my god. Okay, we get we gotta get some sleep. Let's go get some sleep and get back here and apparently Apparently some of them came from a different direction. We're gonna have to we're gonna have to figure out where they came from, alright? Let's get some sleep. Yeah. No, no, no. It's over. It's it's over. I know it's over, okay? It's over. It's too early. I need to I need to get the sun up, okay? Let's sleep. There we go. Oh my god. Peoples. So much damage. And I know some of you are like, oh that's the thing I hate. Okay, so remember, we're talking about this again. We're trying to we're trying to, you know, plan for things like this. I'm not saving this game, alright? We're not saving this game. No matter what, I'm going to quit and everything is going to be as right as rain because that's that's what I want to do. Okay. I'm, I'm still going to loot him anyway. Yeah, that's a bit of damage. I'm not going to complain because this was not concrete. This, this isn't too bad. I guess my big concern is the concrete. Yep, we're going to grab everything. I'm going to grab everything, even though I'm going to quit the game and not save it. I am going to do that. Yep, they definitely stayed away the concrete, except for right here. Okay, we can turn that off now. Let's just get that off. Yeah, this is definitely a bummer. Okay, so let's see what happened. Let's go see what happened. How did they get in here? Uh, where where did they break through? Because if the vampies are going to come from different angles, like if they're going to be able to come from the other side of the base where I have no idea that they are, then I would have to say to the developer, it doesn't make sense that the Vambies would come from. Yeah. So here's what we do. We're not going to save the game. We're going to come back. And I'm just going to run over here and make sure that this wasn't already here. Yeah. Okay. Let's keep looking. Let's keep looking. And the big thing we got to do before we close this up is we got to go take a look at the amount of damage that was uh, that was done to the concrete fences, so we can determine whether or not it's a good risk reward. Let me check this. Uh, I gotta I gotta fix this. There's there's no room for me to. If I get up there and I fall down in in between the fence and the rock, then I'm going. Well, actually, you can. I can move the fence, that's not the issue. It's just, this should not be so tight. I shouldn't have let it get so tight. Alright. Let's let's do a real quick, real quick check. Let's see what the damage is. Okay. Okay, give me a sec here. All right, good. I had to get Google's online calculator up so I could just enter in whatever I see here. I mean, this this can't be right, you know. This this def this definitely can't be right. I mean, if this were right, then 
than what I'm seeing right now, which is, to me, it's impossible that they didn't do damage to the fence. I'm expect. I'm pretty sure we saw them attack this part of the fence, or, or maybe they were all over. Okay, there you go. Okay. It doesn't quite say how many I need. All right. We got one. We got two. I think I need to get some. Uh, I need to get some planks in my in my bag. If I get planks in my bag, then I can see. Um, it should give me the numbers. It should show me how many. Let me throw. Let's get about ten planks in our bag, and then we should be able to see the exact number. Uh, not planks. Concrete. We need concrete in our bag. Okay, let's slap you in there. Oh, there's a lot of stuff in my bag. Am I? That's okay. Let me do a couple. Yeah, we don't need planks. That's right. That's wood. It didn't need planks. All right, let's go back there. Let's try this again, really quick, and get some numbers, final numbers, on where they, uh, how much damage we're going to have to repair. Okay, I should have put some concrete in my bag. I wasn't thinking. Oh, it's not going to tell me how much I need to put in. All right, sorry guys, we're not even with concrete in my bag. It's not going to give me a hint as to how much. So, these made it to about fifty percent. And something you can definitely see from what we saw on the other side of the base where like five, four or five of them broke through. What the hell? Did you take a trip on the bird? I bet you. I bet you he got up on the bird and flew. <laughs> okay. Okay, it's just not, this is not telling me how much. But we did have the time to do something. And the, uh, where they did break through was uh, wood. So where there was wood, I think they'll go for the wood and ignore the concrete. And yeah, that's a, that's a bit of damage. That, that is a bit. Okay, so this is a little bit more. Um, if, if I had not ta if I had not wasted my time at the one side of the fence and decided to go to the other, if I were like, try to get myself at the center of the base and listen for where they go, because I thought that they would all come in at one side. I mean, that's, that's what a horde basically means. You get a large number and they usually come in a concentrated area. And that doesn't mean that a horde can't split off and come at from a different angle. But that's a lot of damage. That is that is a lot of damage. But that's okay. Because I'm just going to quit re-enter the game. And it'll be as right as rain. And I think that's it. So I know Genie was asking uh, if I would still consider doing the whole... Uh, the the bait base you know the bait trap if you want to call it build some kind of a tower away from the base get the vambies to come to it and see how that works out versus something like this because if you don't if you don't have a fence okay this is your experience unless you got your base off the ground and it's floating in the air I mean, you can't do that. It kind of, it kind of screws with the whole fantasy, you know, that whole, that whole thing that you would have a base that's floating in the air. But whatever, you do you, and the rest of us would do us. So it does look like the fence held up. The the Vambi swarm. What really cost us was some of the Vambi swarm came from the other side of the base, and that just screwed us. Okay, give me a moment. Give me a moment. I'm gonna leave the game come back and we'll see if that was actually the fencing was there or not okay I'll bring you guys right back and now we're back in the game everything is set back to the way it was we're as right as rain yep everything's looking good and normal again I, I recommend for those of you who are trying things or, or those of you have something really bad happen, you're like, oh no, and you've lost a lot. 
a lot of resources and everything maybe to just you know quit the game and come back in without saving it and start over so the fences here look good so apparently the vambies came from behind and attacked and maybe we need to put fencing or we need to upgrade all the fences to concrete and that well the problem is okay that's not the problem the problem is they attacked over here and I had no idea they were over here attacking I thought that the Vambies okay so I guess I'm oh I'm wrong the Vambies I thought the Vambies were only going to attack the part of the fence that was where we play. You know, over here. I thought that the Vambies would only attack the fences on two sides over here where we are playing most of the time. I didn't think that the Vambies would come in behind us like this. I guess that was that was my mistake. I was totally wrong. For those of you who are kind of wondering what's happening, you're wondering still about whether you're going to want to have the Vamby Swarm. Apparently the Vamby Swarm does come, can come from all angles of your base. So, that's definitely an issue. That's definitely a thing. If this were multiplayer, I would have, you know, somebody over at that end of the base listening for trouble. So, I guess, again, uh, the Vamby Swarm is, yeah, it, it does a lot of damage. It does a tremendous amount of damage. If you're fortunate and the Vambies only attack one side, and we've seen that. We've seen the Vambies have attacked one side of our of our compound, and that's easy to manage. But now we've seen the Vambies have attacked from the other side, and that's not as easy to manage, because now I'm having to run back and forth, getting in and out of breath. <laughs> To try to, you know, keep up with wherever the heck the Vambies are on my base. And that's, that's difficult. That's incredibly difficult. So, again, I think I come back to the whole idea that... Well, no, no, here's the big problem. Here's the big problem. The problem isn't, in my opinion, the Vamby horde. The problem, in my opinion, is I have built an enormous base or a compound. I have built... I have I have taken as much area as I can so I have a lot of area for building and now when the Vambies attack and they attack from different angles they're, when they come from the front and behind I mean when they come from when they're on the other side and I can't hear them I don't know and now I have to kind of run back and forth and you know what I need is I need kind of like a moped or or an ATV that I can get on so I don't have to be out of breath all the time. <laughs> I don't know if we could ask the developer to give us an ATV. He might say, yeah, no. Sorry, but no. You, you can create mineral extractors and, and, and solar panels, but I'm not going to let you be able to create an ATV. But that would be cool, wouldn't it be? Wouldn't it be cool, you know, to have an ATV in this game so we don't have to run around all the time? But we, we'd still run around. I'd still do it. I'd still find the hardest way of doing something. Because that's just... Because I'm that. That's that's what I am. I, I always take the hardest way. Not because I purposely do it. Just because it's convenient. I just don't think... I don't think I just play. So, okay. So, anyway. Um, again... A Vamby Swarm, definitely dangerous, definitely destructive. If you have a big base, um, good luck to you because those Vambies are going to come from all over the place. I thought maybe they were going to come from the one side we were on and it's like, no. They're coming from all over the place. So you guys, there's some risks there that you're going to have to take. And again, um, yeah, I just, I just suggest if you're going to try something big like this, just save your game before you do whatever you're going to do that's going to use all your resources. Test it out, and if you say, like, this is not working, I'm not happy, and I used up all the resources, well, just quit the game. Don't save it after that. Go back to before when you first saved it, and you have everything back. I have, like, three full storage crates full of concrete 
that I can use to do my next thing. And and that's uh, Jeannie asked if I could still try doing the bait thing, the bait based thing. And you know, maybe I'll do one more. Maybe uh, maybe one more time, I'll do that. You know, maybe one more time. Take some of this concrete over. We'll we'll build a bait base away from this base, far enough away that all the vambies come, but not too far. And we make sure that the vambies do have a clear, uh, you know, line of attack to get to us. I mean, we're still going to try to stall them and fight them, but we're not going to let them uh, get to us that easily. But I still, I'm still expecting Lag City. I'll, I'll do it one more time. If we get Lag City, then that's it for the bait base. And whoever else is doing a bait base that's working and not having issues, that's maybe it's just my computer. But I'm, I'm not going to recommend people do stuff when my own experience is a bad experience because that's irresponsible of me but it's fun it's fun to try it out and see what happens see if we can figure out things to get the vambies away and and of course after all we do all this stuff the developer is going to be like if they figure out a way <laughs> to to keep the vambi danger away from the base dudes i i'm sure that he's sitting there he's probably like what are they coming up with next how, how are they going to cheese my game? And probably some four-letter words on top of that. All right, you guys. That's it for this video. If you enjoyed my video, please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe. Hit the notification bell. And as always, um, comment. You have different ideas. But for right now, one more bait base. One more. One more. And then I'm going to take a break and, and do other things in the game. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Later, dudes.